On Stone, sir, on Roger Stone, yeah. isn't your tweet political interference? No, not at all. He was treated very badly. Nine years recommended by four people that perhaps they were Mueller people. I don't know who they were, prosecutors. And they uh, don't know what happened. They all hit the road pretty quickly. Look, you had somebody just recently, you saw what happened. Uh, he got two months. He got sentenced to two months for leaking classified information at the highest level. Who's that? They treated Roger Stone very badly. They treated everybody very badly. And if you look at the Mueller investigation, it was a scam because it was illegally set up. It was set up based on false documentation and false documents. You look at what happened, how many people were hurt, their lives were destroyed, and nothing happened with all the people that did it and launched a scam. Where's Comey? Why, where is Comey? What's happening to McCabe? What's happening to Lisa and uh, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page? What's happening with them? It was a whole setup. It was a disgrace for our country, and everyone knows it, too. Everyone, including NBC, which gives a lot of fake news. The fact is that Roger Stone was treated horribly, and so were many other people. Their lives were destroyed. And it turns out, you look at the FISA warrants and what just happened with FISA, where they found out it was fixed, that it was a dirty, rotten deal. So when you look at that and you see what happened to Roger Stone, but think of it, a man leaks classified information, highly classified. They give him two months. Roger Stone for doing, nobody even knows what he did. In fact, they said he intimidated somebody. That person said he had no idea he was going to jail for that. That person didn't want to press charges. They put him in for nine years. It's a disgrace. And frankly, they ought to apologize to a lot of the people whose lives they've ruined. All right, next question. Next question, please. Go ahead. Yeah, please, Steve. Wait, wait, wait. What? I don't want to say that yet, but I tell you what, people were hurt viciously and badly by these corrupt people. And I want to thank, if you look at what happened, I want to thank the Justice Department for seeing this, this horrible thing. And I didn't speak to him, by the way, just so you understand. They saw the horribleness of a nine-year sentence for doing nothing. You have murderers and drug addicts. They don't get nine years. Nine years for doing something that nobody even can define what he did. Somebody said he put out a tweet. And the tweet, you based it on that. We have killers. We have murderers all over the place. Nothing happens. And then they put a man in jail and destroy his life, his family, his wife, his children. Nine years in jail, it's a disgrace. In the meantime, Comey walks around making book deals, the people that launched the scam investigation, and what they did is a disgrace. And hopefully it'll be treated fairly. Everything else will be treated fairly. Aren't you speaking to the Attorney General? Go ahead, please. Yes. A Ecuador. Los indicadores macroeconómicos de los Estados Unidos están excelentes. Los felicito, señor presidente. Pero los indicadores macroeconómicos de Latinoamérica, las expectativas de crecimiento están bajando. Particularmente, el crecimiento de Ecuador está en cero. ¿Cómo ayudamos a las economías latinoamericanas? ¿Cómo ayudamos a Ecuador, señor presidente? ¿Cómo ayudamos a Ecuador, señor presidente? Gracias. Gracias. Me encanta esa pregunta. Me gustaría que tuviéramos algunas personas como esta aquí. He's congratulating us on our great success as a country. And I want to congratulate you, too, because uh, what you've done in Ecuador and your president have done a fantastic job. Thank you very much. You're con Mr. President, you're concerned about the four prosecutors? I'm not concerned about anything. I'm concerned Does about it show that there's something wrong with you? I'm not concerned about anything. They ought to go back to school and learn, because I'll tell you, with the way they treated people, nobody should be treated like that. Go ahead. All right, so listening to a bit of President Trump there uh, at the White House with the leader of Ecuador, uh, again, a wide-ranging interview, but a lot of it having to do with Roger Stone uh, and uh, how much Roger Stone was given, the sentencing for Roger Stone as well. We're going to keep our eye on all of that for you, as we often do when it comes to President Trump.